Hey everybody, welcome back to my series Off-Roading on Vancouver Island, part of my Vancouver Island Destination Series. Today we're going to look at an area close to Campbell River, um, just west and north of Campbell River, a really popular area. There's lots of lakes here. It's all, it's all gravel road, it's all logging roads, but they're in pretty good shape. You can do these roads in a, in a car. I wouldn't bring my Tesla or my Lamborghini in here, but uh, certainly an SUV, you don't need a four-wheel drive. So in this video, I'm going to give you a few tips on backcountry travel uh, that I think if you've never been off-road on the gravel and the logging truck roads, you'll find useful. Anyway, this day for us was just a little afternoon John. Like I said, we got into the area uh, at the Strathcona Dam about 30 minutes, 30k or, or 18 miles from Campbell River. We went up to Brewster Lake to look around. We had stops at Boot Lake and Gosling Lake. And then we got back out to the highway at the John Hart Dam, which is just a few miles west of Campbell River. Like I said, if you've never been on logging roads before, there's a few things to know. The first thing you want to check out is if there's active logging in the area that you're going into. Um, if there is, it'll be Monday to Friday, and it's usually a good idea to avoid those. The off-road logging trucks are a lot wider than the highway trucks, and the uh, drivers won't give you a lot of room. Another thing to remember is these roads aren't marked. Uh, there's no sign, not a lot of signage. So if you're going to go into this area, especially this area that we're in today, there's a lot of logging roads. Uh, print off a screenshot from uh, Google Earth Maps or, or invest in an off-road book like we did if you're going to do a lot of exploring. Get yourself a map book. So our first stop was Brewster Lake. It's a beautiful spot. This is one of the bigger lakes and one of the bigger wreck sites. You actually have to pay a nightly fee here. I think it's $9. But it's a great spot and these wreck sites are pretty basic. All they have are pit toilets, picnic tables, and fire pits. So a bit more of info about the roads. The, uh, the mainline roads are quite wide, lots of room for two vehicles to pass each other. But these secondary roads aren't nearly as wide, and a few times we actually had to get right off the road to allow a pickup truck to get by us. So just be aware of that, and you definitely want to keep your speed down. These roads in this area are pretty good shape, but it can be busy. It's a popular area and sometimes these roads will be quite rough. This is an old train trestle structure. You'll find these all over this area. They used to log this area back in the day with railway tracks. This is a wreck site on one of the smaller lakes. This is Boot Lake. It's a beautiful spot. I think there was four sites here and they're free. Uh, and, and there's pit toilets in most of these sites, even at the small lakes. But Boot Lake, well, beautiful spot. And then we're back on a secondary road. This one was quite rough. There was lots of, they'd been filling in the uh, potholes with a, with a coarse, coarse gravel and it was pretty rough. And this is Gosling Lake. It's another beautiful spot. Somebody built their own uh, dock here. Quite ingenious. Gosling Lake and Boot Lake are actually part of the Sayward Canoe Route. So this was just a little afternoon trip. We wanted to do some exploring. But there's lots of wreck sites in this area. There's lots of small lakes and big lakes. And most of the wreck sites are free. So we finished our loop at the John Hart Dam, which is just, just a few miles out of Campbell River. So if you want to explore this area and you don't want to do as much gravel road driving, you can come in this way here and you can easily find a few lakes to check out. So cheers and thanks for watching. Check out my series, Vancouver Island Destinations, and check out my website, Vancouver Island Chronicles. You'll find documentaries fe featuring the people and the places of this great island. See you next time.